Are you an SLP looking for a new job? Well, it's nice because we're in high demand, but it also can make choosing who to work for a tough decision. My name is Luke Barber and I'm an ASHA certified SLP and I've created a free guide called 18 things every SLP must know to choose the best job. And I'd like to share one tip from my guide with you right now. The tip is this. If you're considering working for a hospital or a school versus a private contracting company, it always kind of looks like the private contracting companies can pay you more. And while that's true, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you go to work for a private contracting company, they only pay you for the time that you work. Whereas if you go to work for a school or a hospital, uh, they still will pay you or you get a consistent paycheck when there's holidays or breaks. I'm talking a lot more on the school lines. It does relate to hospitals as well. But if you work for a school district directly, uh, they will pay you your same paycheck whether there's Christmas break, spring break, Thanksgiving break, uh, holidays, summer, that's the biggest one is uh, the three months of summer that you don't have to work, that you can go work doing something else. Uh, and, and then the same goes for hospitals. If you work for a hospital, you probably will get paid on some days that are holidays that you wouldn't otherwise if you work for a private contracting company. Now, typically private contracting companies and schools and hospitals usually will have a lot of the same things to offer as far as benefits and uh, other perks and that sort of thing. So I'm not trying to sway your decision one way or the other. I'm just saying be aware of that because I think oftentimes it, it looks like that a private contracting company can pay you more and they can, but they will only pay you for the hours that you work. They don't ever pay you for any time that you're off for any kind of breaks. So just consider that, keep it in mind. Again, I'm not trying to sway you one way or the other, just something for you to think about. Now, if you like that tip and you'd like to get more, please visit homespeechhome.com or there's a link down here that you can either copy and paste or click on. Uh, you can copy and paste it in your URL browser or you can just click on it and it will take you to Home Speech Home and you will get access to the 18 things every SLP must know to choose the best job. And I'll see you there.